Hello everyone, Vita's x 3 back again, and I'm trying something different here. I am recording via my iPhone. So the quality is simply much better, hopefully, and it should be nice. You shouldn't have all that ridiculous focusing and stuff like that issues. Anyways, this is the Nomad playing cards from Theory 11. It's a very nice, beautiful box, as you can see. Beautifully uh, foiled and embossed it doesn't say much on the front but he got a very nice look to it very sexy i like it on the one side it says roxy playing cards crafted in the united states uh for the nomad hotel in nyc the other side says luxury playing cards produced by fury 11 designed by chad michael the top you see some nice artwork. It does actually say on there made and nice. <laughs> made nice. <laughs> Bottom is standard for 11 stuff with the logo and barcode and whatnot. And in the back, it says made in the United States by Fear 11 and Nomad established in New York. And there's a Roman numeral there for 20 and 15. And it says Luxury Playing Cards. And it also says Trademark. Underneath this white image. And there's some nice embossing and foil again. It's a very nice top case. I've um, got a bit of a matte finish, I suppose. The seal, custom. It's definitely different. You don't usually see a long strip like that. Usually it's kind of like a stamp. And it does say on there, I don't know if I can read that or not. <laughs> okay, the top says, the seal of the state of New York, founded in 1624. And the other side, it says, north of Madison Square, 1170 Broadway. So you got kind of the address on there and the seal of New York. Pretty cool. On the flap. It says USA, NYC, and it says some stuff in Latin that I'm going to butcher. Actually, I'm not even going to bother. It, just, it says stuff in Latin. It also says 311 and the Nomad Hotel underneath USA and NYC. Might be a little bit hard to see. I apologize. Here we got a couple of logos. I believe that's the 311 and Nomad Hotel logo. Actually, sorry, this here. Is a CM for Chad Michael. Right here. And the other side, I think is a T and an X. It's, uh, I think it's supposed to be 311. I'm not sure. This is what it is. So first you get a card that says The Magician. A Nomad Hotel. On the back. It says, a Nomad Hotel, an evening of magic, mystery, and deception. And for details and tickets, visit nomadmagician.com. You get another one that I've seen on one of the other decks. Basically, the same idea. It says, Abracadabra on top, and then you get less and less letters. And it says, Nomad, here in the center. And on the back, it's exactly the same. Jokers. You get this... Weird Pinocchio guy, big, big long nose and pointy ears, and a little bit weird. Uh, it says Joker on the top. There is some kind of a symbol in the one corner and the lower corner. You get a symbol that has an N and an M for Nomad, and it says the Simple Fool, New York, New York, USA, and the Nomad Hotel on the very bottom. Kind of hard to see. And the other Joker is identical. You'll see these cards do have a dirty, kind of worn out look to them, which is cool. The Ace of Spades, really nice. Has a custom index, or at least, a, well, it is custom, both the letter and the pit. There's an A up top with a crown. And a nice spade pip, and it says, uh, Luxury Playing Cards on this little ribbon at the bottom. And it looks very cool, very classy. I like it. The rest of the cards are standard. Big surprise. Uh, 
I kind of like this deck. It's a very cool deck. One minor. Oh, I should show you the back design as well. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> Let me know what you think, by the way, of this video with my camera. So here's the back design. Very uh, elegant looking. Detailed. Lots of details. It does say on the top and bottom something in a foreign language <laughs> in Latin. Paul uh, Critido in Oculo con Spicientis Est. <clears throat> and I should probably look that up, but whatever. <laughs> uh, I do like, like I said, the dirty, worn out look. It's almost like they're trying to create their own version of the. Uh, Um, the 1800 series from the Luminous, except a little bit better, I think. The only thing I mentioned or would note is, you might be able to tell, but there is different discolorations on the backs. It kind of makes it a little bit odd, but that's just a minor detail. It's just, it'd be nice if they all had the same color instead of having different colors. It's nice to have different stains on the faces but on the backs it seems unnecessary but the cards do have a nice stock and finish they handle good i like them i've been playing around with them a bit overall as far as the artwork is concerned the style the theme i should say i do like the theme uh i like the artwork i do think it would have been nice if there was a little more customization but that's just a minor Thing, so I will say 4 out of 5. Handling, usability, I like it. Handles good so far. Um, I will say 3 and 3 quarters out of 5. And as for usability, absolutely, it's basically a standard deck of cards. 4.5 out of 5. Or I should say 5 out of 5, really. I mean, it's a standard deck of cards, so it's definitely usable. Okay, I'll say four and three quarters out of five, just because the Ace of Spades has got a different index and it kind of stands out a little bit, but it's still usable. Anyone can use it for cards and magic because everyone's familiar with that. Everyone will recognize it right away. Oh, that's the queen, that's the king, that's a spade. You know, no concerns with that whatsoever. So, that is that. Um, overall, I'll say... Four and a quarter out of five. I like it. It's pretty cool. And I will see you next time. Let me know what you think of this video quality. And I'll see you next time.